assistant some years back at VCU and another gentleman on that coaching staff Joey Rodriguez in his sixth season he was the point guard for that final four team back in the day with Shaka I remember that team very well we played VCU in a tournament uh, my junior year and they brung so much intensity and no fear Coach Shaka Smart brings no fear and expect to see that from this FIU basketball team tonight. Opening tip goes to the Miami Hurricanes tonight. They're 2 0, FIU 0 oh 2. Ron Gruber, Pat Adams, Tony Henderson, the officials here in Miami this evening. Opening whistle. It's going to be a little body check on FIU, so an early foul by FIU, and that was on Seth Pinkney, the center at 7 feet 1 inches tall out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a transfer from Quinnipiac. Expect them to be very aggressive on the ball screens. As you can see early on, they're double-teaming Nigel off the ball screens right away. They're not getting him going. And it worked for a turnover. FIU opened up their season with an 85-62 loss at UCF. An unexpected loss to Tarleton State, 82-65 last week. But again, they're forcing a ton of turnovers. Problem right now, you know, you've got to go back to last season. Denver Jones was their standout player in F at FIU. Well, he took the bag. He went to Auburn. He's the starting point guard at Auburn. As FIU and Seth Pinkney will go to the line early. They're looking for somebody to not only take control of this team, but they also are probably in a position right now, Jack, they got to believe they can win a game here. You know, you got to believe you can win because a belief is nothing but a thought that you've been thinking for a long period of time, and that becomes your belief system. These FIU kids, they need to believe they can win this game. They need to be confident coming into the University of Miami basketball program and try to come out with a W. So Pinkney into the free throw line. This is the first. Again, big old center. Out of Philadelphia. We saw the size in the last matchup for Miami against UCF. It did present a bit of a problem. Miami was able to run away with that game late down the stretch, but the size did bother them a little bit as FIU jumps out to a 1 0 lead here tonight. I like how FIU is putting pressure on Miami early. They're not waiting to be down to put the pressure on. Here's Matthew Cleveland in transition. North Chad O'Meara thought he was fouled. Ball is loose on the floor. It's Miami basketball. FIU bench erupts. They thought it was off of Miami. See the starting five there. Cleveland for Miami along with Nigel Pack, Bensley Joseph, and North Chad O'Meara. And the officials come together. They get it right. It's FIU basketball. See, the great thing about presenting a press is that it's not all about getting steals. It's making the opposite team play fast. And right there, they made the Hurricanes play fast onto another turnover. Dean to the rack, kicks it out. Three in the corner on the way. No good. Matthew Cleveland down with the rebound for the Hurricanes. They like to run. They love to get out in transition. Nigel Peck with an underhand toss to North Chad O'Meara off his fingertips. Another turnover by Miami. They're second. FAU is set the tone early. Let's get these guys to play fast. And it's working in their favor. Arturo Dean with the basketball, the point guard, he hands it off. Trap, right wing, beyond the three-point arc by Miami. FIU splits it. They get out of it. Dean kicks Great it out. Swing. Three on the way. That is too strong. North Chad O'Meara down with the rebound for the Hurricanes. And now Bensley Joseph's turn to bring it up the floor. He'll fire away. An early three, and he buries it. Bensley is picking up where he left off. Well, okay. Notice he has the long sleeve shirt on today. He's going to get hot early. Well, why would you mix it up the way he's been playing, huh? Here's a deep three on the way, and that missed badly off the mark. Jonathan Abar missed badly. Matthew Cleveland! Bang me out! Matthew Cleveland with an incredible slam dunk with a fast break right there. The Florida State transfer, the six foot seven third third-year junior out of Atlanta, gives the Hurricanes a 5-1 to one advantage. Great help defense by Norchad. Another turnover here. Expect comes another, Look Look another one. Oh, he laid it off the glass early. Couldn't get his feet right. Oh. See, the smile his feet on right. his face. Smile. Crowd would have erupted. No, there's nobody in this gymnasium tonight that can get up there more so than Wooga Poplar. Another near turnover and a missed layup by Jaden Lipscomb. So here comes the Canes again in transition. Matthew Cleveland stepped on the baseline. Here's that Cleveland dunk again. Oop. That was close. He knew he had that. You can see the length in that finish right there.
Bensley Joseph hit that early three for Miami. And the threes continue to fall for the Hurricanes. They total 10 plus threes for the second straight game in their 88-72 victory over UCF. Three on the way. Rattles around and out. 7-0 run for the Hurricanes. North Chad O'Meara spins in the paint, fades away, can't connect too strong. FIU still without a field goal tonight. Boy, FIU, a lot of dribbling, but they're going nowhere with the basketball. Now a double team. Here it comes. And a foul on the floor. Who are they going to get? As four Panthers get set to check in. It's going to be on North Chattel near another early foul. Sonogo, Brewer, and Hawkins will all check in now for FIU. FIU subbing very, very early. Let's see what value that these kids come in the game bring to their team. Miami in the traditional home white tops and bottoms tonight. FIU decked out in the black road traveling gray tops and bottoms as Michael Nowoko will check in for Miami. North Channel Mir with the early foul will take a seat. Coach L tells him, just put your hands up, would you? Here's Gittins. Bounce pass. Corner three on the way. That one looks good. And that is very Javante Hawkins fresh off the bench the sophomore out of Miami. That's what you want to see you get in the game Automatically make it play for your basketball team a lot of confidence Matthew Cleveland fouled he'll go to the free throw line with 15 47 left to play in the opening half here in Miami the Hurricanes out to an early 7 4 lead We're launching futures 22 2023 it culminated in the program's first ever trip to the final four just a couple of years ago coach l took him to their first ever elite eight in his 13th season as the head coach of the miami hurricanes and boy for a long time now jack mcclinton he's had him rolling here in coral gables he's had him rolling he's had him believing they think they're a great team right and what does that turn into their belief system they you know, believe they're it, a great team and it's amazing because if you go back to like that 2012 season it didn't take long and it was the days before the transfer portal right so guys were sitting out but it didn't take coach L long to assemble a really good team that turned the heads of the Coral Gables and Miami community that whoa you're whoa. not you know like and that that to me is what's so impressive is Michael Milwoko about touch the top of the backboard Bensley Joseph in transition three on the way second time tonight he's buried a three Bensley Joseph has really found his rhythm you know coming in as an off guard when he's used to coming in as the first point guard off the bench I think he's starting to understand his role and believing in his jump shot, it looks very, very pure and smooth. Expect wow. to see a lot more threes from this. You know, I was going to say that th there seems to be a sense of confidence. Not that he didn't have, but in prior years, there's a big three on the way for Javante Hawkins. That's his second. But Bensley Joseph never had to be the guy before. And the expectation, he doesn't have to be the guy this year, but he is going to have to be a guy. He might need to get you 10, 15 points a game. He doesn't need to be that guy, but he can be that guy. And that's something that we need. I would like a heat check for him on that shot right there. Well, he thought about it right in the face of Patar Kravakapic. Behind the back pass, Nowoko pulls up. He buries the mid-range jumper. I like the way he caught that ball with confidence. Let it go right away. No second guessing on the shot. Sky for the offensive rebound. Jaden Brewer on the putback is good. Very athletic rebound by Brewer in the finish. Cleveland lost the basketball. Poplar picks it up. Kick out. 4-3. On the way. Bensley Joseph. No good. Matthew Cleveland skied over the back of Deshaun Gittins. And Gittins is going to get called for the foul. Here's that Nowoko block into that three-pointer. How about the block? Epic. Great timing on that block. You know, the key to being a shot blocker is to be able to time the shot. And that gives you transition threes. Wide open transition three. Nigel Pack will take a seat. Keyshawn George is in now for Miami. Young promising, they believe a stud freshman who's seen some playing time here early. He gets the ball coming off the bench. He pulls up and the shot is too strong. 
I love the confidence that this young kid plays with. Comes in the game, comes off a staggered double screen, shoots the ball. Doesn't make the shot, but I love the confidence to be able to step right in and shoot that ball. Oh, nothing wrong with asserting yourself, that's for sure. Brewer kicks it out to Sonogo, and then he hands it off to Dean, who works off his screen. Top of the key, picks up his dribble. Here's Hawkins. He's hit a couple of threes. Now he tries to get to the rack, kicks it out. Oh, it's a beautiful look, and then the corner three, no good. A bit too strong for Brewer. Well, that was a great look, though. A terrific pass by Javante Hawkins. Who great triple pass. team down in the paint. There's a turnover. On the deck is Wooga Poplar and a dunk a flush on the other hand for Brewer. I want to see Miami get Wooga going early. You know, Wooga's a rhythm player. We want to see him get going early so he can kind of get to his rhythm, make some shots, get some stops, and continue to be that guy that he is. It's interesting, Jack, being here courtside next to the FIU bench. A lot of energy from this team. You got to have that energy when you're playing a top 10 team, top 12 team. Cleveland pulls Miami up. just moved up from 13 to 12. You got to bring the energy. Matthew Cleveland buries a jump shot. Oh, yeah, that little stutter, that little Euro step. You notice I said top 10 before. I believe this University of Miami Hurricane basketball team will easily be a top 10 team in the next couple weeks. Great move by Dean. Great move. Stutter step into the Euro step in the paint, kind of slowed his body down in control and uh, tried to kiss it up there, and it was just a bit too strong. So, Miami basketball after the foul on Sonogo, his first. FIU with four fouls, Miami with two. Here's Cleveland, swings it. Wilga Poplar, he's been burying him since the season started, and here we go again. Right on time. Gotta get your sniper going early. He almost just had a takeaway. Now numbers, and now Poplar does take it away. Wow, he is so athletic. He's got a triple. Now they're going to work it down low for Nooroko. He's going to go to work on the big man, Sonogo. Now he just kicks it back out to Joseph. 15 on the shot clock. Here goes Poplar, pulls up. And it's facing Barry. Whoa! That's what I mean about getting the sniper and the shooter going early. When he sees one go in, he don't even get into his rhythm triple to another three. That's why you want to get your best shooter going early. Miami leads by 11. I like the energy, though, from FIU. Their bench, the head coach, Jeremy Ballard. They're very engaged in the game. Super engaged. Deep three on the way. No good. Arturo Dean not in rhythm. Fired it off the right side of the rim. Here comes Keyshawn George in transition. Tries to get his way to the, back, the, the basket, and then it was blocked by Sonogo. Great defense. I love the attack mode by the freshman. Got to be on attack mode at all times. Hawkins dribbling the basketball out near half court. He's got a couple of threes and six early points. Is he going to shoot another one? Yeah, that one's way off the mark. FIU is not scared to shoot the deep ball. They're two for nine in that department early. Miami four of five from beyond the arc. Here's Cleveland. Going to try to back Hawkins down low. Picks up his dribble. Now he gets it right back. Mismatch. Miami loves this matchup right here. Cleveland fades away and bounces. Great shot. You notice how Cleveland got to a spot in the elevator over the smaller guard. That's what you want to see from my dynamic guard like Matthew Cleveland. He can play the perimeter, he can play in the post. Well, welcome to the show. Tonight he set new career highs in points in back to back games. Had 21 versus NJIT in the opener in 23. Last Friday against UCF on a night in which they unveiled that final four banner high in the rafters here with the Watsko Center. Wooga Poplar is one of the guys that's going to be held responsible for picking up a lot of the scoring in the absence and departure now of Jordan Miller and Isaiah Wong. Here comes Poplar. He just got fouled. Whoa, that was dangerous. That was dangerous. That and Miami's not happy about it. Here's another look at it. You just, you, you got to kind of let him go when he's up there near the rim. Unless you're making a play on the ball and you're going to try to block it. So Poplar will go to the free throw line for a couple of freebies. He hits the first. A little fake handshake like somebody's on the line. And that goes back to when I say rhythm. And he's used to make a free throw, dap my team up. 
Makes a pair. Now he goes to the real dad. <laughs> Once again, we haven't seen many three-point shots from Nigel early. These teams know Nigel's on that three-point on the double in the pick and roll. Let's look to get him. Let's look to see if he can get some shots in transition. Or Chad O'Meara back in the game for Miami. So Poplar hit a couple of free throws. Nigel Pack being pestered top of the key. Poplar in the corner. He elevates and he hits it. It's so smooth. It's a great elevation. The guys running at him. Two drew pull up straight up and down. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Wooga works on that every single day. So it looks so natural when it comes to him doing it in the basketball game. Christian Watson checks in for Miami. They're trying to get him to become an absolute pest defensively as well. He's down low on the big man, A bar. Here's a shot, no good. And FIU is going to come up with a loose ball. Here's a near side corner three, and that is buried by Arturo Dean. That was a big three. They needed that three to stop the momentum. Nigel Pack has been slow out of the gates to start the season, Jack. Just a handful of points in each game as Norchad O'Meara traveled. That's a turnover. What have you, you seen know, from Nigel earlier? You know, the scouting report now is you cannot let this guy breathe. You know, in previous season, right. Nigel could come in and get a couple of sneaky threes. But now they're all over him. So we're going to look to see Nigel get different spots to get shots, maybe in transition, maybe off a screen and rescreen, maybe play him off the ball to get him some shots early. How much will the success of, let's say, Bensley Joseph and Wooga Poplar and guys that can start to fill it up. How much will that open up opportunities for Nigel Pack? It's going to open up tons of opportunities. But as I said, when you're a shooter like Nigel Pack, they're on you all game. Missed easy layup for Deshaun Gettins. It was a turnover. Here's Nigel Pack for three. Once again, I just said it five seconds ago. Let's look to get Nigel some three-point shots in transition. While well, the defense is scrambling, they don't know where their man is. And right there, you just saw it. Nigel Pack with a wide-open three. And expect him to come down with more confidence shooting his next shot. As a shooter, you just want to see the ball go in one time. That's all you need. Oh, nice pass down low. And Dante Wilcox, the graduate out of West Palm, cannot finish. And that's going to be another turnover by Miami. Kane's leading 31 to 16. Miami's made six of their last eight field goals. Miami's turned it over six times. They've only been able to force three turnovers. Problem for FIU is that they've only collected three points off of the six turnovers that they forced. The second game in a row that Miami has gotten lucky by teams not capitalizing off the turnovers. FIU's got 10 points off. And from their bench tonight, six second chance points to Miami's none. FIU trying to work it down low. North Chad O'Meara, the big boy for Miami, takes it away. Here comes Christian Watson, tries to get to the rack, and he's cut off on the baseline by Kravaka pitch. Back with a three over for Bensley Joseph. He gets in the lane, then he's stopped. Shot clock at 13. O'Meara now. Spinning on his defender, and he found A.J. Casey, but he threw it away. Casey was cutting, and O'Meara didn't see him. Once again, I want to see Norchad step into that shot with confidence. He's passing up these open three opportunities for drives and kicks, but the kicks aren't ending up how we want them to end up on the offensive end for Miami. Oh, well, there's an alley oop there from A-Bar to Pinkney. A couple of big boys out there on the floor right now for FIU. Pack is wide open. I wouldn't leave him that wide open. He couldn't connect. Nor Chad O'Meara with an offensive rebound. And he fades away and he can't connect. You want to see him go up stronger there? Or are you okay with a fadeaway there? I'm okay with that fadeaway shot. I just want to see him shoot the open threes that he has. Because once you shoot the open three and make the open three, now the defense is running at you. He's attacking defense, but the defense isn't running at him. Dean pushes off of Joseph and Dean hits. Boy, Dean looking like step back Jack on that one. <laughs> great attack, great step back, great finish. He's got seven. He's three of seven from the field. He leads all FIU scores. Here's Pack again. Bombs away on the way. He buries it. I cannot believe that FIU is one of the best shooters in the country. Wide open for an open three like that.
But once again, that's another three in transition. Nigel Pack with six early points. Miami leading by 14. FIU slowing things down. There's a kick out. Three on the way. No good. Way too short. And it's picked up by North Channel near in transition. Ball is tipped right off the fingertips of Petar Kravaka pitch. 544 left to play in the half. Pretty looking alley you Kings up by 14. They are engaged. They're kind of deliberate with what they're doing. Only turned it over four times. They're missing shots, really. Um, but you kind of see how Coach Ballard is going to really try to put this thing together uh, in the years to come. He's in the sixth season at FIU now. These players are ready to play. They play for him. Yeah. Amazing. They play for your coach. They play for each other. That's what you want to see. Nigel Pack, baseline. Bensley Joseph with a shot fake underneath for Matthew Cleveland. He gets blocked. I want to see Matthew Cleveland go straight up. In the last couple of games, I've been seeing him double pump his shot and making himself smaller. Oh, that was a wild and crazy shot right there. By Jaden Brewer. And a shot up, no good. Offensive rebound, Norchad O'Meer. Now that ball is tipped. Pack's going to have to run it down in the backcourt. Ten on the shot clock. Pack works left, comes back right, gets all the way to the hoop, and his runner off the right side is no good. Straight attack. Mohamed Sonogo getting set to check back in for FIU. Panthers shooting 32% from the field, 3 of 12 from beyond the arc. Arturo Dean with a team high, 7 points. Firing away, bombs away, Deshaun Gittins. 34-23 now. Back to an 11-point game. Hand off to Cleveland, to Watson, to Pat, to Cleveland. That's what you want to see. Go straight up and dump the basketball. Don't worry about the contact coming. Go up and finish strong. Great finish by Matthew Cleveland. You want to leave him open. Oh! No chance. No chance. Did he just come out of the floor and just block that? I didn't even see him. It's like he jumped out of the floor. Clean block hey. to the first row of the stands. Javante Hawkins is looking around like, where the heck did he come from? Oh, he's got to step into that shot and shoot a little bit faster. We got a guy like Norchad out there. You got to let that ball go. Now, Dean working on Pat down low with the block in the paint and it's stripped shot clock is at four and going up and finishing strong Sonogo off the bench you notice how Norchad didn't want to get his second foul yeah great attack by the big fella expect to see more of that from FIU packed up ahead for Joseph and look at Poplar just got fouled boy they are all over Poplar tonight it's a little dangerous a little very dangerous but it's good to see Wilga Smalley. Another timeout on the floor. 3.43 left to play. Joseph up top. Oh, boy, oh, boy. A little dangerous down there underneath the hoop. Kings leading by 11. Rufus hates being stuck inside. FIU and the University of Miami separated by uh, a whole 10 miles, the two gyms are. And these two tangling here tonight. It's, you know what? It's a, I don't know if you want to call it a rivalry, but it's nice to see these teams get together, Jack. I like that. You can see that. You can call it a rivalry from yeah. Florida. Get together. One time these two plays. Two battles in an eight. Great play out of the timeout to get Nigel Pack a three. 38 25. The coach is telling his big fella to calm down. Slow down, boy. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. <laughs> boy, 
Gittins has nowhere to go. Corner three on the way. That thing is buried by George Pritchett Jr., the junior out of Boston Mass and the transfer from Polk State College. He's coming in, ready to play. Cleveland again in transition, had the ball knocked away from him, got swatted off the backboard, collected his own misfired pass that was deflected. And now Matthew Cleveland is going to the free throw line for a one and one opportunity. Jonathan Ibar is going to check in now for FIU. So a bar in, Hawkins out. Cleveland to the line. This might be one of the games where you see the brightest shoes ever at once. You got pink, green, and orange. Highlighters. Almost the full spectrum of those highlighters. Full spectrum. You, need, you know, you get the pack when you're in elementary school. Yeah. Your mom gets you the highlighters. Right. Get every color you need. Arturo D thought about a three. Here's an offensive rebound spinning on Omir. And Omir just picked up his second foul. And Mohamed Sonogo gets the bucket to fall. Once again, if you notice, Omir's hands were up. They were a little bit slanted over, just a little bit. Yeah, he fouled him. He, uh, actually, it looks like he almost lost his balance a little bit here. Kind of fell right into him. We're going to expect a lot of team when they're watching this film. They're going to try to attack Omir early. Because the dynamic of this University of Miami team changes when he's out the game. You know, you look at Nor Norchad in the game, he's getting rebounded, you start in the transition. That's one element the University of Miami lose when he's not in the ballgame. Well, he's been in foul trouble, Jack, to open up the season, and Coach L mentioned it in his presser that they, they've, they've, uh, they've got to keep him on the floor. The best ability, as they say, is availability, and you're not available when you're collecting fouls. And when you see a guy like Norchad, you don't never want to tell him you can't play hard because he plays so hard, which is why sometimes he puts himself in bad position to get fouls. So you oh. got to meet in the middle. Here's Poplar for three. Yeah, that one rattles in and out. I'm surprised. Almost a surprise when a shot of Poplar's touches the rim these days. For sure. A little stutter step. He was step. surprised he step missed step that back. One. Three on the way. It's good. Arturo Dean. FIU is within four. Just like that with 2.13 left to play in the half. Look at the difference in energy. Mark. I just stayed in. That's cool. Yeah. Cleveland or South Beach. Be the real you. Well, we've got ourselves a game here in the first half. Miami just had themselves a real big lead. Their largest lead at 956. Here in the first half, they led by 17. That has been cut to four after a 9-0 run over the course of the last one minute for FIU. Pack nearly just had it taken away. O'Meara's off the floor. He doesn't have a point tonight, but he's got eight rebounds. Leading scorer for Miami is Poplar. Here he goes. He rises and he misses. I'm loving the intensity of this FIU basketball team is playing with right now. You can notice they're playing with so much confidence. Really believe that they got a chance to win this game. If they try to attack the freshman, Nowoko, it's down low for Sonogo. There's a mismatch, and Sonogo puts it up and it falls. FIU within two. They've had a lead tonight. That was when it was 1 0. Miami's led for 16 minutes and 36 seconds. And counting. Pack thought about a three, trying to get himself to the hoop. He pulls up and he misses. An opportunity right here for FIU to tire, take the lead with just a little over a minute left to play in the half. You want to see Miami get back into their offense. They're not really moving the ball that they were doing early on, taking quick shots. But that's what happens when you get down and another team makes a run. Here is Dean. You better be careful. He's got a team high 10. Is he going to try to pull up? Is he going to try to give him the lead? Here's a step back. That is no good. Rebound down to Matthew Cleveland. Here's a two-for-one opportunity for Miami if they want it. 25 on the shot clock, 40 on the game clock. Bensley Joseph in a corner. Bensley Joseph shooting the ball with so much confidence. That's got to be a great feeling for Nigel Pack. Miami's lead is five. They will get it back. So they execute the two-for-one opportunity potentially perfectly. Here's Pidgeot. And he hands it off to Dean, then just gets it right back. 
Another handoff. Sonogo handling the rock, working on Nowoko, the freshman. That was taken away. Bensley Joseph had it. Then it falls. Here's a three at the buzzer. Whoa. As time expires. Here's a heave from Nigel Pack. FIU with a last second three. Time expiring on the shot clock here in the first half. Miami's going to carry a 41-39 lead into the on the road, 10 miles south. Let's see if we can upset the 12th-ranked Miami Hurricanes in Coral Gables tonight. Away we go here in the second half. And an immediate whistle. I don't know if I don't know if you saw Dean right there. He's dancing. He's got confidence. He believes. Let's watch the swag that he plays the rest of this ball game with. Look, look at Dean right now, the starting point guard. Who do you think he's saying? Man, you can't guard me. Might be telling him, look out. Oh, he's saying, you think you're pretty good. I think I'm pretty good. 1992, the only time FIU ever beat the Miami Hurricanes. They haven't played one another since 2008. An opportunity to start the half for FIU to tie it. And let's see if they can do it. Yes, they I caught can. it. That boy Dean, confidence on another level. I saw the way he was dancing and swagging out at halftime. He's coming in strong. One for Quick one to start hooks. the second half. He's got a team high 12. We are knotted at 41. All is when the Poplar gets rejected at the rim. The Poplar got a shot popped. Tie ball game. Blocked by Abar. Here's a three, buries it deep. One thing I know about basketball is when you come out with that swag and you ready, you can play out of your mind. A 5-0 run for FIU out of the gates here in the second half. They've got their second lead of the night, their first since it was 1-0. O'Meer still off the stat sheet. That's his third foul. North Chad O'Meer called for an offensive foul. Pushed right off with the forearm. Pushed off and at the same time. This Miami team, you don't want to get down to a team like FIU. It was blatantly in a position like this. Very obvious. Just pushed right off with his left arm there. That's three personal fouls on Norchad O'Meara, who plays a minute in the second half, and he's back to the bench. Here's a three in the corner. No good. Another offensive rebound for FIU. Here's the man of the hour, Arturo Dean, barking out signals, the play caller. Dean to the rack, gets tied up, ball taken away. Oh, look at the strength from the big man, Seth Pinckney, the senior out of Philly. FIU by five, a 7-0 run to start the half. What a run by FIU coming out of the break. Here goes Poplar to the rack, and that gets swatted away. Back comes the Panthers. What a start to the second half for FIU. Miami is down five. The height, the size differential has been too much for Miami. Quickly to the rack, up and under. A bucket for Deshaun Giddens. A timeout for Jim Laranega. Two minutes and 15 seconds into the start of the second half. Miami trails you if you go back to the first half, Jack, is on a 23-3 run. They're on a 9-0 run to start the second half. It forced Jim Laranega into a timeout. Miami, all of a sudden, the 12th-ranked Hurricanes are trailing by seven here at home. They've got to get going. Do you, do you sense any difference here in the body language? If you look at the FIU team on the court and the team on the bench, their body language and their frequency, they're vibrating at a super high level. If you look at Miami, it's a little lackluster. It's kind of low. The vibration is low. And you're seeing the energy shift into FIU's favor. Bensley Joseph with a turnover. He stepped out of bounds before the three-point opportunity. So FIU leads 48 to 41. What a win this would be for the FIU Panthers. 
There's a long way to go in this game, but it's been a long time since Miami has any type of control in this thing. Again, they're on a 23 to three run. They look like the better team right now. They look like the better team because they're playing with more confidence. And you can tell they're playing with nothing to lose. It's like they're out here playing on the playground. That's the best basketball. Shot no good. Another offensive rebound. This time it's Seth Pinkney. FIU by nine. And this is where you need North Shadow Mirror. Yep. They not, might have to get him back in the game, even with the three fouls, Jack. Not only does he help you with the rebound, but he helps you with rebounding position. He gets those big men out the paint. Another turnover by Miami. This is incredible. They have forgotten how to play basketball. It's a nine-point lead for FIU. A deep three. On the way, it's short. Another offensive rebound. Here comes another three. On the way, no good. Swatted out. Dean's got it. Two offensive rebounds. Another one, yes! Long threes equal long rebounds. Miami needs to pick up their energy right now. Or they may, may be going home with a loss. If you notice, Miami's not even really attacking no, the basket they, they right now. They can't get a shot, Jack. They can't get a shot. Cleveland for three. And that rattles in. That's a huge shot. That's a huge shot by Matthew Cleveland to kind of put a halt to the momentum that FIU has right now. Wow. North Chad O'Meara is going to have to come back in this game, and it might be coming here at the next media timeout. Miami trailing by nine, approaching 15 minutes left to play. They need a run of their own to get back into it here at home. There's a turnover. Numbers. Joseph all the way, and he lays it up in there. That's the intensity you want to see from a guy like Bisley Joseph. Bisley Joseph finishes that basket. Toss a little smack to the big fella to try to block the shot. 53-46. Quick run for Miami. Five quick points. The lead is seven. Now you see the crowd getting into it. That's what you want to see. Miami's got to find a way to rebound the basketball after an FIU miss. FIU has their foot on the floorboard. They are sticking it to the Canes going back to late in the first half. Deep three, no good. Offensive rebound, shot clock expires. FIU saying that the ball hit the rim. I think the officials want to take a look at it. They'll go to the video monitor while we take a break. 14-41 left to play in the half in Miami. It's all FIU leading the Canes 53-46. to Right back to the energy. If you, watch, around. if you watch this Miami basketball team right now, they're really playing not to lose instead of playing to win the basketball game. Stunning. Miami has two points from their bench tonight, and in second chance opportunities, outscored 18 to nothing. Miami is 2 0. FIU is 0 2. Are we going to witness an upset in Coral Gables here tonight? Will Miami start attacking offensively? Cleveland over Nigel Peck. Three rattles in and out. One Great and pull. done opportunity. Great pull. He's ready to shoot. Expect the next one to go in. Coach Laranaga has put A.J. Casey in the game. And maybe that'll help him in the rebounding department. There's a takeaway. Here comes Miami. And Joseph over to Peck. If I buy you right now, you do not want to turn the ball over and get that momentum switching in University of Miami's favor. Easy layups. Easy switch ups for momentum. Under 14 left to play. 53-48. FIU leading. Gittins hands it off. Hawkins. He's got a couple threes tonight. Hawkins. That's an offensive foul. And that's going to be on Jonathan Abar, the junior. Slowly but surely, you're looking at the momentum switch. Put that left knee that right left into knee the hip out. of Nigel Pack. And now Abar is going to take a seat. Brewer will check back in. Petar Kravakovic is out as well for the Panthers. 53-48 is the lead now for FIU. A quick 7-0 run for Miami. They put together just a wild, wild extended run here tonight. Here's Poplar. Poplar's been quiet for a while now. 
Here goes Joseph, works off a high screen, spinning into the paint, pulls up, and he gets it to go. Shooter's touch. Great, great touch by Bisley Joseph, and great attack. Once you get in that paint and you make a play, you make it a lot easier for your offense to off its rebound. A little over three minutes ago, FIU led by 12. It's now three. FIU with four turnovers in the last three minutes. Miami on a 9-0 run to the rack. Shot no good. Ball is in the air. Here comes Miami. There's a foul. Boy, what's FIU doing? What are they fouling Matthew Cleveland for? 80 feet away from the hoop. That's going to get Matthew Cleveland going. Nice little smack to the face. That gets you rolling. That gets you going. Dante Wilcox will check in now for FIU. There's a little trap there. And so far away from the hoop. It's the second foul here in the half by FIU. Miami's committed one. 53-50, 12-50 to play. Building was pretty quiet for a long time tonight. Largest lead for Miami, 17. With 10 minutes left to play in the first half. Here comes Wigget Poplar. Looking for anybody. Matthew Cleveland pulls up. Look at the intensity on Matthew Cleveland. I saw when he got hit in that last play. He is locked in. Shout out to Lethal Shooter. He is locked in right now. Jer Look at Matthew Cleveland. Jeremy Ballard wants a timeout. Just like that, Miami erases a 12-point deficit. They're up. Matthew Cleveland has 16 points, six in the second half, a couple of threes for Miami. They just erased a 12-point deficit. Both sides have made nine three-pointers tonight. Miami's finally got a couple of bench points. FIU has destroyed them in that department in addition to the second chance opportunities. So here comes FIU out of the break. A raindrop three, no good. Is somebody going to come up with the rebound? Loose ball on the floor. FIU's got it. AJ Casey with the block. Here comes Miami the other way. Can they retake the lead? Joseph gets fouled. He hits the deck hard. I really like this lineup at the University of Miami. Very different, dynamic, fast lineup. Switch one through five. Everybody can shoot the basketball. This is the lineup that kind of got Miami back into the basketball. That was, that, that was another offensive rebound for FIU, too. They're, they're lucky A.J. Casey was straight up and down when he left the deck because, boy, Miami is getting hammered. You know, that's been a talking point of contention for years now. How do they beat these teams that are bigger? Well, they've struggled the last couple of games as Joseph makes the first to give Miami a one-point advantage. I, I, they, they've got to figure something out, Jack. Miami does to, to find a way to rebound the basketball a little bit better. That's not going to fly in conference play. It's not going to fly in conference play. It starts with having your best rebounder, keeping him on the floor. But it is good for a plan B to be able to play fast and use your speed to outrun basketball teams. And that's what University of Miami has done to get back to this basketball game right now. Let's look for FIU to come back with the momentum stopping. Oh, we do not want turnovers. Here comes A.J. Casey. High flyer to the rack. Joseph with the takeaway on the defensive end. He swiped it right out of the midst of Arturo D. Miami leading by four. To the rack. Shot no good. George Bridget Jr. missed it. Kings. Poplar. Oh, here we go. Poplar with a transition three. Rhythm shot. Cash money. It's a 19-0 run for Miami. Dean just got whacked by Joseph. No call. 60-53. There's a bucket. That's a pretty That's one a great right there for Jaden Brewer. And I think Arturo Dean might need some assistance from the uh, athletic training staff. He's banged up. FIU back within five. Great cut. Great finish. Boy, both Pridget and Dean are going to take a seat. And Arturo Dean, uh, I don't know if it's a cramp or what the case might be, but they're going to want him back in the game quick. He's got a team high 15 for the Panthers. They need him back. Let's see how Norchak can affect this game, not only offensively, but defensively for the University of Miami Hurricanes. Now, this is an aberration for Norchad O'Meara tonight. He's got three fouls. Here goes Poplar with the left hand. Thought about rising. In the paint, backs it out for Joseph. Omir, eight rebounds. He's 0 of 3 from the field. Joseph looking. Shot clock at 6. Cleveland strong to the rack. A foul on the floor. Cleveland will go to the free throw line. Foul's going to be on Dante Wilcox. Great attack by Matthew Cleveland. 
Well, he's tried to take the game over now, Jack. He's got a team high 16 for Miami. He's become very aggressive, and that's been the difference. Miami has simply gotten aggressive after uh, FIU just scared him to death here with that 12 point lead. For sure. That's what you want to see. When you're down, you got to be aggressive. You cannot play the game to lose, you got to play to win at all times. Now Miami's back in this game. You see them play with a little bit more confidence. And you see the shift in the score. Miami's back up six with 10.43 left. The seven-foot-one center, Seth Pinckney. Out of Philadelphia in the transfer from Quinnipiac is back in the game for FIU. He can gobble up rebounds offensive and defensive on the offensive defensive side of the floor. So the lead is seven for Miami. We've got a really good game here in Coral Gables tonight as we approach the halfway point of the second half. At the free throw line, Brewer hands it off. Here's a three on the way. No good. Wugga Poplar skies for the rebound. FIU wants to travel. Officials are going to call a foul. And the referee just went over to the FIU bench and said, take a seat. You're not the officials tonight. We are. I'm loving, I'm loving the way Wugga's on the defensive and offensive rebounding. He's doing a great job of getting in there with the big fellas bumping. And coming up with the basketball. Inbound pass goes to Nigel Pack. Being pestered by Brewer. Here's Norchad O'Meara. He's had a quiet night. He's trying to get to the rack. He goes up and he gets blocked for the foul. Pink, he's going to be called for the foul. The only reason you get that foul is you attack the big fella. He went up strong. He didn't double pump. He went straight up and threw the foul. That's a good sign for Norchad. He's not playing nervous to get his offensive foul or defensive foul. Mm. He's playing on attack mode. And that's what you want to see from a guy as strong as Norchad, as athletic and dynamic as Norchad. That was the right call, too. Pinkney grabbed the wrist of Omir, who just got his first point of the night. And now Dean and Krivaka pitch are going to check back in for FIU. That'll send Brewer and Hawkins to the bench. Miami's lead is 8 with 10.07 to play. Omir hits a pair from the free throw line. Wow. The, the run for Miami is 23 to 2 over near six minutes. Basketball is a game of runs. FIU brought the run, and Miami bring it right back. FIU started the second half on a 9 0 run. It was a 23 to 3 run. That's a ticky tack foul called on Bensley Joseph. It's definitely a ticky tack foul. At the end of the day, you love the intensity that Bensley's playing with. Trying to get in the passing lanes. Trying to get a steal, get the momentum going for his team. I keep an eye here on Dean. He went to the far end of the bench. He needs some assistance from the athletic training staff. And I don't know what's ailing him, but he's been a weapon for the Panthers here tonight. Here's a high screen. Kravakovic hands it off in the paint. Strong with the left hand. Deshaun Gittins. Great take by Gittins. Getting two feet in the paint. Fuck the defender. Nice layup with the left hand. Starting five on the floor right now for Miami. Poplar working. Bombs away for three. No good. Two short. And who's basketball? It's FIU basketball. That rolled off of North Chad O'Meara. Miami's lead is seven. What a test this has become for Miami tonight. It's a great test for Miami. You know, you got some big teams like Georgia coming up in the Bahamas very soon. It's a great test. Great sign of resilience for the University of Miami basketball team. Gittins with the right hand from the left side. He beat Nigel Pack to the rack. I love the way he got to the basket and put the ball out in front of him. Showing his length. Great finish at the basket. Here's the trap. Top of the key. Omir bombs away for three. No good. Two short off the front of the iron. Although Norchad missed that shot, I like the fact that he shot that ball. Here's a turnover. Poplar pulls up and he misses it. It's Miami basketball with 8.39 left to play. Javante Hawkins is going to check back in now. Dean's going to take I don't think he's right. Something's wrong with Dean. Yeah, Dean's not right. He's not all the way there, but at the end of the day, I don't know if it's a cramp or what it is. His but, team has made Yeah, it. they brought him off the floor. Here's Pack. Dribbling. Lost it. FIU basketball on the turnover. 64-59. Is this another FIU run? Miami hasn't scored in three minutes. 
leading 64-59. Here's the three. Top of the key. All the way. Bang. Javante Hawkins. Miami's lead is two. That was a great play call for the FIU. Great play call. Get your shooter off a stagger screen. Wide open trade ball. Cash money. Here's Poplar. Working. Started right. Came back left. He got bumped. Now Joseph going strong to the rack. No call on the floor. That's going to be a jump ball. It'll be Miami basketball. 11 seconds on the shot clock. 7.54 on the game clock when we come back. Bombs away, Javante Hawkins. It's the Panthers who are giving the 12th ranked Canes a run for their money here in Miami tonight. Have fun, sis. For FIU tonight. Miami still does not have a second chance point, Jack McClinton, in this ballgame. It'll be Kings basketball. Coming out of the TV timeout, 11 on the shot clock. Inbound pass to Omir. Joseph has it. Picks up his dribble. Here's Pat working on his defender. Pulls up for three. Let's go. That is a tough shot. Hit him with the Steve Smith half spin to the jumper. Beautiful shot by now. This foot was on the line. Give him a pair. It's a four-point lead for Miami. FIU's beat Miami once in 1992. First time they're meeting since 08. Here's a runner, and it's good. Oh, that's a pretty one for Hawkins. Hawkins said, I need my get back. Let me get back. Wow. That was smooth. And now they're really starting to go to work on Nigel Pack. Cleveland looking down low for O'Meara. He's only got two points tonight. He goes up with the right hand. And he oh, finishes. my goodness. That was a beautiful jump hook. Elevated extremely high. It's almost like he threw the ball in the basket. He jumped right over top of Pinkney, who stands at seven feet and an inch tall. Three on the way. On the way. No good. Miami with a rebound. When North Chad O'Meara is on the court, you notice the... Second half points or second half attempts. Cleveland for three. Left them wide open and buried them. Oh, you can't leave that open. What a shot by that Cleveland. That's why you trying to trap Nigel Pack. Top of the key. He's a terrific point guard. He found a wide open teammate. Cleveland with a season high in a team high 21. Matthew Cleveland is really carrying his University Money basketball team right now on the offensive end and defensive end. Lead is back to seven. Here's a three. Stutter step. Shot is no good. North Chad O'Meara, the big fella, down with the rebound. Up top, Bensley Joseph in the corner. He'll fire away. See, that's what North Chad O'Meara gets you. He gets you defensive rebounds, and he's able to initiate the basketball on the fast break and find guards for open shots in transition. A lot of times your big man gets the rebound and looks for your point guard. He's getting rebounds, passing to a guard for open three in transition. The lead was two. Now it's ten. <laughs> you got to stay on the floor, dude. All right, Miami leading by ten with 5.56 left to play. That was a quick timeout from Jeremy Ballard after the 8-0 run for Miami. They lead by ten. They're up to number 12 in the polls. Boy, they sense the pressure this season after that final four run last year out of the timeout. Three on the way. Way too short. Another offensive rebound for FIU. Deshaun Gittins as Norchad O'Meara lost the shoe. Look at FIU to get into some full court press right now to try to speed the game up, get some turnovers. They've got 30 points off their bench, 32 points in the paint, 20 second chance opportunities. This is Miami's none. With Norchad O'Meara, one of the better big men in the country. Miami doesn't have a second chance point tonight. Lead is eight. Pack gets it. Trap gets it away to Joseph. Underneath O'Meara. Numbers. Poplar thought about a three. Up top, Nigel Pack. Deep. This thing is really deep. It rolls in and out. Cleveland! Miami's got a second chance opportunity. It comes with 5.25 left to play. It's their first of the night. Matthew Cleveland, a great all-purpose player. Offensive rebound, defensive rebound, shooting, attacking the basket. No doubt he's the player of the game right now for Miami. If they can hold off FIU. Abar to the rack with the right hand. That was a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Norchad does not want to draw any more fouls or get any more fouls. 
Well, he's going to break the press it. again. And Omir just hands it off to Pack. 454 left to play. We're under five. Here goes Pack. Oh, look at that move. He won the foul. Oh, great hesitation using the basketball blocked off the defender. With a little bit of English on that spin for the layup. What a move by the little guy, Nigel Pack. They tell us he clocks in at six feet tall. I think that might be generous. FIU back in towards the bucket. No finish. Logo try to D it. for three. Too strong. Poplar. Rebound. Here comes Miami. Amir. Left hand finish. Amir almost had a flat tire on that one. He's so strong. He was able to get that up and finish with the left hand. Now the lead is 12. With 80 or 408 left to play, Miami leading 80 to 68. FIU's going to climb back in it. They've gotten all of their points. It feels like down in the paint tonight. There's a turnover. Now the ball's on the deck. Loose ball. Numbers for FIU. And a bucket for Dean. Whoa, they just caught a break. Dean is really hurting right now. You don't want to see that from your starting point guard. It's the third time he's tried to come back in. He's struggling. Nigel Pack, the hesitation from the wing and the finish on the big fella. The lead for Miami is 10. There's 347 left to play. Don't go anywhere. Complimentary team basketball. When you're the 12th ranked team of the country, everybody's coming through your throat. Uh, FIU has put on quite the show here tonight. Oh, for sure. They have a huge target on their back. Keyshawn George is in for Miami. He inbounds the basketball to Bensley Joseph, who's being pestered by George Pridgett Jr. So the freshman George with the basketball, a handoff to Poplar. Nigel Pack is going to check back in. Here comes Omir looking, looking, trying to find somebody. And Norchad Omir nearly just threw the basketball away. Nigel Pack is going to check back in, but... Omir just kind of lobbed it in the direction of Poplar, and I guess he didn't see George Pridgett Jr. That was not a good pass. They fake the handoff. Here's Pat. Pat to the rack. He throws it out. Poplar thought about a deep three, and he turned it over. And there's a foul on the floor. Poplar's going to be called for a foul. He's lost the basketball. 321 left to play. Miami is in the bonus. The Canes have only committed three fouls here in the second half. Still 321 left. There's a lot of time left. A lot of time left. You want to see FIU continue to increase the intensity. You notice the energy is not the same as it was when they were up. You got to keep that same energy, like they said. And keep Arturo, that same energy. And Arturo Dean's not in. He's got 17 points. Dean is not on the floor. He's he's been banged up for about five or six minutes now, and they can't keep him on the floor when he gets himself back in. FIU has gone on multiple runs tonight. An extended one to end the first half. There's a foul. That's on Nigel Pat. Boy, they're missing Dean. Bad time for your star to get hurt. Bad FIU's time. question coming in was who, who's going to take this thing over this year, right? We lose our star player to Auburn. We need somebody. And Dean pours in 17. And late in the game down 10, he and on the floor. 80 to 70. 305 left to play. Fresh 20 on the clock for FIU. Holding the basketball. Jonathan Abar and he gets it in. Oh, and a foul on North Chad O'Meara. You hear a lot of oohs and ahs in the crowd, but when you attack someone on defense and you go up strong, a lot of times you put the ref in a difficult position. And right there, he put the ref in a difficult position. And he was forced to call that foul. Mm -hmm. To the line is Mohamed Sinogo, the junior out of Pittsfield, Mass. He's one of one from the free throw line tonight. He's two for two. The lead is nine, three to play. Let's look for FIU after this made basket, if he makes the free throw, to put some type of press on the University of Miami Hurricanes to try to force a steal. I think the prettiest free throw you've ever seen, but Sonogo two of three from the charity strike tonight. The lead is nine for Miami. Does FIU have another run? Can Miami hold it off? Can Miami put together another run? They've got numbers as FIU continues to try to trap. Joseph 
to the rack with the right hand. No foul on the floor. Here comes FIU. Miami wanted the foul. Now look it in the corner. Gittins down low. Abar. I think Abar wants the basketball. They want to try to get Norchad O'Meara out of this game. And a near turnover. Ten on the shot clock. Plenty of time. An open three. Rattles in and out. But an offensive rebound for the Panthers. Again, they turn it into two more. The lead is seven. Second chance points. Cannot give those up. There's a blocking foul, and that's going to send Nigel Pack to the charity stripe, a one-and-one one opportunity. Miami in practice this week, if they can hold on to win, there might be a point of emphasis, Jack, on rebounding the basketball. Oh, for sure. They've lost 15 their, offensive rebounds. They're going to bring that rebound machine out. Wow. And they're going to be on the boards, literally. 2.06 left to play. Miami trying to hold off. FIU. Pack attempting his first free throw of the night. A one and one opportunity, and he missed it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Miami's doing everything he can to lose this thing. Arturo Dean is back to the check in table. Under two minutes left to play. Far from over. It's a seven point game. Three on the way. This one looks good. He buried it. George Bridget Jr. Now the lead is four. Nigel Pack nearly lost the inbounds pass. Huge shot by Bridget. Huge shot. Shot that ball with no fear. Nothing but the bottom of the net. He said, I'm here. Poplar for three. Barely that. Wow. That's a stone cold killer in the corner. He's no hesitation. A Maniac. No hesitation. So Miami answers the three. About a minute and ten seconds left to play now. Gittins looks up top. Here's Pridget. He just buried the three. Now in the far corner in the face of Poplar. Shot is no good. Sky for the rebound. More Chad O'Meara as Miami looks to put this game on ice. Here comes Pack in transition. Got to be careful. Weaving in and out, now he pulls it out. 19 on the shot clock. 47 on the game clock. Miami's lead is seven. For a high screen and roll for Pack right here. Block at 10. The ball screen. Is he gonna pull up? Is he gonna pull up? There he goes, to the rack with the right hand. He gets it to Pack. go. Pack said it's time to pack him up. Norchad on me or into the scores team. Whoa. All right now, Norchad. Way to play hard. Nigel's really getting in that paint. Showing a little bit of athleticism in there with a little honey dip. Boy, Miami's lead is nine with 31 seconds to play as Arturo Dean checks back in. I don't know if he can play defense, but they're hoping he's in to make a bucket. And the referees are going to take a look at the clock and possession of the basketball if there was any doubt at all that. Different mindset. FIU outscoring Miami by 30 in terms of bench points tonight. 34 to 4. 15 to 7 in favor of Miami or FIU on the offensive glass. Second chance points. Miami losing by 20 in that department. The clock is at 25. Tight defense by Miami. Here's a shot by Dean. And oh, a foul is called. Bensley Joseph gets called for a foul. That's going to send Arturo Dean to the line. He's going to shoot three. Didn't see it. Didn't see it. But I'd like to see what the official saw. I don't. I, I'm not seeing it, Jack. I'm sorry. Well, maybe this was. This is going to be our best angle. I have no idea. I have no that's, idea. That's, that's a tough call right there. Dean makes the first. So he makes all three. This could be a five-point game with 22 seconds left to play. And Miami's not in the double bonus. FIU doesn't have fouls to give, but a couple more fouls is still a one-on-one -one opportunity. And he rattles in the second. Dean with 19 tonight. Big game for Dean. Florida kid as well. So it's good to see him come back home, or he's already home. The coming university might be having a good ball game.
FIU trying to trap the basketball to get it up to Florida Woga Poplar. Poplar going towards the rack. Ten. Nobody is fouling. FIU's got a foul with eight seconds left. Miami leading by seven. They just killed, what, 20 seconds? Great pace by Miami. Wooga attempted like he was going to go for a layup, brung it back out. I'll tell you what, FIU was looking over, by the way, to their head coach, Jeremy Ballard, in that position. You don't need to be looking at the head coach to see if we want to foul or not, boys. We got a foul. We're down you seven. Need to foul right away. You got to know that. So packed to the free throw line for Miami. I and mean, the Canes are trying to sneak out of here with a win tonight, and that's going to help. So the lead is eight with eight seconds left, and that's probably going to do it. But pack, what a game. Can pack them up right now. Great game by Nigel. All game, you know. You didn't see too many long threes, but it's tacking mm. the basket, finishing at the basket, getting his teammates involved. Wait, he misses a free throw. So the clock ticking down to five, down to four. Down to three. Dean blocked by O'Meara. There's a dunk with .9 seconds left. That's going to do it. Miami is going to get out of here with an 86-80 victory over FIU. But what a game here at the Watts Go Center tonight. Great game at the Watts Go Center. It's great for FIU to come in with no fear.